guys, this is Matt Reisinger and Jordan Smith from The Build Show. All right, so if you saw our last video where we pressurized a bunch of different pecs, well, we thought fittings to see if they'd blow off. It turns out only the shark bite push to connect fitting blew off. Other than that, all the other fitting styles, which Jordan and I thought would just pop off the end at a certain amount of pressure, it turns out it was actually the pipes that burst. The problem was with that hydraulic tester, because it went up to 14,000 PSI, mm -hmm. it was only just starting to register when the pipes burst. So what mm -hmm. we did is we went and got a hydro tester instead of hydraulic. This one uses water yep. and it can take things up to 1,000 PSI. And we have two different gauges, zero to 600 and then zero to 2,000. So we should be able to dial in and see exactly where each one of these pipes yep. fell. And by the way, the shark bite push hit connect, which you just saw, was about... A little around 300, 350 and we'll, PSI. We'll check the exact footage and put it down below here for you when we edit this. But much higher than we thought, you know, based on the hydraulics, I was thinking, gosh, did that thing pop off at 100? But it was pretty good. Yeah. So now Jordan and I are going to go out to the, to the backyard and we're going to test the pressure that each one of the three pipe styles is going to do. So we'll meet you out in the yard. Okay, Jordan, what are we doing here, dude? We are testing a shark bite fitting, shark bite push press, push connect. We're getting pressure. We're pressuring up. I'm gonna slow it down so we can see what it does. Can you see what the pressure's showing? <laughs> we have liftoff. I'll have to go back and review the footage, but it looked. It looks like that was somewhere around 300, 400, 450, somewhere around there. So not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. We switched out between, so we took it up to 600 is as high as that gauge went. I thought that would be enough from what we were seeing off the hydraulic um, test, but apparently it's not. So this will go up to a thousand. This gauge goes up to 2000 and I think we can probably get this pump to push out more than a thousand. Um, so let's see where this one fails. Right, we're coming up. Coming up. There's five. There's 750. Oh yeah, we're getting some pressure now. There's seven feet. It's dropping. We must be, we're, we're, uh, no, still. So I think, I feel it, it's, it's swelling somewhere. It's moving. Yep, there it goes. See it there at the base? Oh, there it is. It's swelling at the base. Yep. So it looked like it's peaked out about 750. <laughs> And now we're just going because we can. Ho! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we knocked the GoPros over. <laughs> All right, Jordan, what did we see there? 750 PSI is what it looked like from my vantage point, which is higher than the than the uh, hydraulic test would have had me believe. I was thinking everything was sort of sub sub 500, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, that gauge on the hydraulic though is so massive Yeah, that the scaling is just hard to see. When it goes from zero to 14,000. And now we are going to we got go to the... Which did a little better than open our last Viga. time. Yep. So now we are pressuring up Viga, and we've got pressure. There's five. So the last Upanor one went to about 750. There's 750, and we're holding. Oh, it's looking good, man. I don't see any movement in that pipe yet. Yeah. Feels like we're about to lose some stuff. I you can feel it as you're pushing, like. It's hard, like we're, we're, and I'm not seeing it go much over. I mean, it's a little higher than 750 and it's holding it for a long time. That may be, maybe a, I'll have to look at the, but I can just feel it 
We got a we got a leak going on somewhere. Yeah, but no, look at the top. Look how much it's expanded. Oh look yeah, it's expanded. It's coming pressure's the top. in there. And see if I stop pumping, it'll dr drop back down. Keep pumping that sucker up. Oh, <laughs> we got a blowout. We got a blowout. We got a blowout. Let's see if we can see what it looks like. Oh baby. Yeah. Look at that blowout. Yeah, we definitely blew that out. How about that? Nice, Jordan. All right. Okay, Jordan, what do we got? We reset it up. Hold on, before you pressurize it, let me show everybody what we got here. This is Shark Bite now, and this is their clamp system. Clamp system. And this is the Shark Bite PEX tubing, which is a PEX B, correct? Yep. And on the uh, on the testing with the hydraulic pump, this was the highest PSI. We don't know what PSI that is. We're about to find out. All right, let's do it, man. Pump it up. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. All right, there's five. There's seven. That pipe's moving a little bit, but I don't see any wall thickness change over there. There's. I wonder one. if the GoPros can see something. There's one thousand. Thousand PSI. It's thousand PSI. It's our highest so far. It's our highest so far. I'm feeling it move. That it's it's going. But it made it to a thousand. There we go. There we go. Oh! <laughs> it always goes the same way. <laughs> so what do you think that winded up at? Uh, just right over a thousand. Right after a thousand, you can feel it as you're pumping it like it's really resisting, and then all of a sudden it starts getting easier and easier as that pipe's expanding and you're losing that the strength and the as the wall thins. So. It'll be right over a thousand. Let's go back and check the footage and uh, we'll wrap this video up. All right. Okay guys, that was a lot of fun, Jordan. Great job on setting Thanks. up that test for us. Very fun. So here's the three pipes that we tested. Upinor, which failed first in the previous video, and then we did Viega, and then we did Shark Bite. Now Upinor is PEX A, it's a little softer, it's a little more uh, bendable, not in short section. And then these PEX B pipes, they're a little stiffer, and the numbers bore out that way, and there's actually the pipes right there, right, Jordan? Yeah, yeah, so here's the, here's the ones that failed. So let's we'll start with the Upinor. Now tell me, when you were pumping that up, what did you feel as you were pumping so up that? So as, as you're going it, on all of them, the, the, the pressure will build and build and build, and then as soon as it starts to rupture, you'll feel the pressure back off, and you'll actually see it on the, the B-roll. The gauge will start falling, and I really have to work to keep the pressure up as this wall is thinning, and that bubble's expanding, and then boom, it ruptures out. Yeah, and you can really see that thin material here yeah. that eventually burst out of there. And again, we, th we think that this one was what, five, 600 PSI? Yeah, so, somewhere around there. Well, when we look at the it was over, later, It was well, over 600 because we, over started, 600. we started with the zero to 600 gauge. Oh, that's we right. went all the way up to 600. We pegged it. Pegged it, had to switch out to the big gauge that so goes up to 2,000. So it's over 600, but it didn't hit 850. So somewhere when in When we uh, look at that edit footage later, we'll put that number below here that it actually hit. Yep. Next up, uh, we put the Viega in, because that failed next on the previous test. And tell me about that one, Jordan. So very similar. Um, Viga. Viga. Very similar. It came up, and then you started feeling it rupture. What's interesting is you can see where it starts to rupture um, in two sections. So it's sort of splitting like a stalk of a corn cob or something, mm -hmm. of a corn plant. And uh, it got higher than the Viga, but it didn't hit a thousand. So it's around that 850, if I remember right. Yeah, pretty interesting. And then the last one, the Shark Bite uh, PEX, which is again PEX B, very different split than the other two, yeah, right? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't seem to yield as soon. It's a much more rigid pipe, mm -hmm. and I don't know whether that has. I'm not a I'm not a plastic chemist by any means, yeah, but either. it seems like it is a in the in terms of metal, it's going to be a more brittle material so it's got a higher mm -hmm. it's got a higher uh, tinsel right but a lower toughness so it's not going to it's not going to keep expanding and expanding as soon right. as it starts to rupture it's going to fail it's gonna go. but it gives you a higher pressure yeah very cool and this got this got over a thousand psi which is you know I there's all these videos out there about you know should you use hex for air and you shouldn't if it's a plumbing connection use mm -hmm. it for plumbing if it's air use it for air but you know, a thousand really PSI. Well. Yeah, the concerns about PEX being a something that's going to fail out there because of pressure are, are pretty unfounded. Because yeah. 
100 thousand psi down to the lowest you know even blowing these little shark bite connections off takes 350 psi which if you get that in your house on the water lines you've got something bad wrong and we're headed yeah. into the apocalypse because all our city mains are, are <laughs> leaking out. That's right, and I think that's a great segue, Jordan, to the takeaways here. You know, I, I was a little worried, honestly, after that last video that we might pop off a shark bite push to connect, like this one that you push on and it's got teeth and barbs. I thought this might blow off at a lower PSI, you know, 120, 130, 150 PSI. Turns out, no, they take a lot more PSI than that. So I don't think there's any issues with the plumbers pressurizing your system under construction, backing one out and not realizing it. Pretty darn tough fixture. You're not gonna see that go to those levels. Um, and then next on these guys, Ubinor, uh fairly soft compared to the other ones, much more malleable. And again, based on that other test, I was a little worried, you know, is this gonna fail to lower PSI? No, these kinds of PSIs, they failed out. You're never gonna see these yeah. in a residential or commercial system for that matter. You're not gonna see pipe failures. And then ultimately, when we first started testing these, we really thought, oh, we'll blow these fittings off. No, no, we no. did not blow any fittings off. No way, not on any of these. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's, it put a lot of my wondering and concerns to rest on how good these fast connections, you know, this one where you're just expanding it and then it comes back on top yeah. of itself, or this one where you're just pushing it on. Yeah, or these um, crimp or clamp connections too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when you're- when you, Solid. When you're used to seeing people brazing copper, and that's mm -hmm. that's the perfect way of doing mm -hmm. it, and now we're getting, you know, they don't build it like it used to. Right. I will test copper, and we'll see what it fails at, but for any plumbing concerns, these have way more capacity than what you'll ever yeah. throw at them. That's right. Jordan, huge thanks, to, huge thanks to you for putting all this together. He went to Granger, thought up how to do this. I kind of gave him the concept and Jordan ran with it. He's my little myth buster here. So thank you for doing that. If you don't know Jordan Smith, follow him on his channel. There'll be a link in the description below. He's posting every Thursday. If you're not familiar with The Build Show, we publish every Tuesday and every Friday. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join The Build Show. Guys, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.